ran the ball last week has to bring a smile to the faces of the entire coaching staff because not only are they seeing a back pile up yardage, they're seeing an offensive line in sync, and that bodes well this late in the season. Seven yards there and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Going to run again here with Pollard. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. He'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on rips like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. On second down, it's Pollard. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Set up to throw, escaping the pressure right. Ooh, the juke. And bulldozing his way through. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards at a first. Now a shotgun hand on to Pollard. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Looking to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Jeffrey Simmons make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And this one is right through. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A big play there for Detroit. 41 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Sliding out of the pocket. And a throw right sideline is complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Dancing to his left. He's got this to Williams, complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Back to throw here. And this one's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. He hit his first, this one from 38. And his kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Right. 
They go play action here on first down, eluding the pressure right. And he whips that one incomplete there. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll run left with Pollard. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's got this complete to Williams. He's going to have the first down and then so down the left sideline. Touchdown! Jamison The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lines move there, look like nobody open, now second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And they're going to speed things up here. On play action, they'll throw. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it beyond the sideline. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. here on first down forced out to his left oh he was hit as he threw it there and that one winds up incomplete well defensively they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's nfl ordinarily you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in in this case they brought the heat and if he flushes out they're fine with that and they force another incompletion Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll look to throw again. You saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Back to throw now on first down. 
And this heads straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tight game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The Lions... Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Wide open receiver complete. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Now back to throw. They'll roll him out right. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And so close. He gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll set up a throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Mitchell. And in for the Lions. Touched it. So the Lion offense staying on the field as they're going to try for two. They'll try and throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Meanwhile, Willis to throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The end result, 21 yards. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Third down, it's Willis. He gets it to Cooks. 
And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. So on fourth down here, Mike Tomlin says, let's just get three. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up to.